Good morning and welcome to the Mike Show for Wednesday, May 24, 2023. 50 degrees at 7.10 a.m. and I am your host, Va Kamal. And I'm a sinner. And I'm a tired sinner. And I'm here with two brothers, princes and ghost stars, Michael and Samuel. Sammy's brewing up a storm. Bobby Sullivan's over here. Bobby. I haven't seen Maxie this morning, and it's kind of disconcerting. I think Princess Elsie went outside, woke up, came downstairs. The living room smells like Max took a shit on the floor, but I cannot find a shit in their floor in there anywhere, so I don't know what's going on. We got two city chickens out there feeding. When we woke, when we woke and came down here, there were two ducks out there, Mr. and Mrs. Mallard. But I don't know where they went. We're going to jump right into a recap from yesterday. And uh, after coffee and wake up time, we got an, a nice ride out to Asanik up Nicholson Hill Road to Spruce Road. And took Worth Road back to town and came home. And it ended up being about a 31 mile ride. I had a cold, thin, watery gruel for breakfast to fuel that ride. When I got out into the country, I drank ditch water when I needed a drink. I came home and regrouped, had lunch, went for another ride in the afternoon. I had a iced coffee and took that with me in my insulated thermos cup, mug, whatever it is, a gift from my sister Kathy a couple Christmases ago. And on that ride, oh, well, I might as well keep going. For sustenance, we ate roadkill, and the ditches were dry, so we just filtered the mud through our teeth to drink the water that we could get out of that mud, and we ate some algae, and it's very nutritional, that algae, so that was a 25-mile ride, so we had 56, I think almost 57 miles in yesterday, got a total of 84 on the week. Took some great photos. Um, saw some bald eagles by Squaw Bay. They're there almost every day. When you drive by out there, they're sitting in a large white pine tree. But we came home and just hung out with the loves. We had uh, a seamstress came over to pick up some shorts and took them and she's going to alter them so they fit me. I've been trying to order a pair of shorts and I had a pair of these shorts before. They ran a little big so according to all the commentary I read about the product everyone said order a small, size smaller. Well I could barely I couldn't even button them to tell you the truth the small size and uh, the medium I'm just floating around in them and I'm like come on really? I didn't feel like spending the whole summer sending shorts back and ordering more so in the hopes that they would fit me. So there it is. The city chickens just took off. Uh, it's 50 degrees right now. I'm babbling and rambling all over the place. Um, Yo-yo weather again. You know, yesterday it was in the mid to high 70s. Now we're looking for a high of maybe mid to high 50s today. It just bounces back and forth and there's no consistency to the weather up here. None at all other than it's inconsistent. So, you got anything to add right now, Poppy? He's meditating. He's purring. Look at my key. Oh, my key. Oh, yeah. So we're going to take a break here. Welcome back, and I don't really mean that one little bit. I didn't mean it when I said good morning either. Still here with Michael. Sam went to get a bite to eat, and Sully took Sam's spot. Sully, can you look at the camera, Poppy? Oh, no, you're Bobby. Poppy is Sam. There's Sam Sullivan. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this is not at all bad sitting here, other than being a little... Like I said, 
concerned about Mackie. I still haven't seen him. I think I might have to go look for him. And I sure wish somebody would put some water on and grain some beans and make me a carafe of coffee, but I think I'm going to have to take care of that. There doesn't seem to be anybody here willing to do that for me. Got some really good Sumatran beans from the uh, Old Mill Coffee Roasters here in town. And I had their coffee yesterday, I believe, to wake up to. The espresso and iced coffee I made from that, I made with some Italian roast, which we used the last of that up. So I'm looking forward to some iced coffees from with the Sumatran. Oh boy, it doesn't take much to amuse me sometimes, so it doesn't take much to piss me off either, so it all balances out in the end. Look at there's Poppy. Did you have a little breakfast, Poppy? We gotta get you your pill. We gotta get you your pill. Where's Uncle, where's Max? Come on, little Poppy coming up. Come on up, Poppy. Come on, jump up. Jump up. Come on, come on, Poppy. Come on, baby. Come on, come on up, Sam. Come on up, Sam. You mind like a cat, buddy. Oh, nothing out feeding. <laughs> Looks like neighbor Steve mowed his lawn recently. Might have been yesterday. Could have been two days ago. I don't know. Someone should mow this lawn, but I don't know about that either. Maybe today would be a good day to mow the lawn, being as it's so windy and I'm not really big on biking and gale force winds. Come on up, Sam. Come on, Poppy. Come on up here. Watch how they jump up. Oh, Poppy, come on and see us, honey. Come on. Thank you for loving me, sweethearts. And God, thank you for these sweet loves and for the breath and gift of another day of life. Yeah, I think if we do any riding today, it's going to be uh, taking a mountain bike out to Mor Norway Ridge and riding out there, and that way the wind won't bother me so much. I think that might be the plan for the day as far as riding goes. But maybe we will mow the lawn. Maybe we'll finally break down and mow the lawn. It could use it. We're back again. I think this is probably going to be our closing segment. Oh boy, yeah, I think it's time to go boil some water and grind some beans and make some coffee, but I need to find Maxie. I'm really concerned. Mikey, Sully, and Sam are all sacked out. I don't know if Princess is outside or not. Oh, Mikey just stirred. And so did Sullivan. Look at those sweethearts. How could you not love those faces? Even Bobby Sullivan, the ball breaker. And he's taken over my job. I'm his assistant. Oh, Mikey, you gotta stop doing that like a poppy. So anyway, I gotta disturb this peaceful rest that these cats are having and go get some coffee going and try and find Max. We're back again. I located Maxie, but I don't know where the princess is. Come on in, Sally. Come on, Poppy. Come on, Bobby. You coming in? Why don't you come on in? There he goes. Look at my key. Look at my key. Poppy's out getting a drink of water with Bobby Sullivan. Yeah, time to push that plunger down on that coffee. We got some chickpeas cooking. We're going to make some hummus today. Oh, yeah. It's going to be a slow morning. I can tell you that right now. Well, Maxie has decided to come and see us. I don't know if he's going to join us or not. Come on, Max. Mackie, can you look at the camera, buddy? You mind like a cat, you know that? Mackie, Max, you all right? You all right, buddy? Here comes Poppy. Come on, Poppy. Come on, Max. <clears throat> Come on up, Poppy. Come on, Sam. We gotta get you your pill, honey. Mackie, don't you want to come out here with us? And why are you twitching? I don't know. I'm wondering if I should 
make an appointment to get him to the doctor. Here he comes. Come on up, Mackie. Come on, Bubby. I don't know. Come on, Sam. Look at that little face. Oh, boy. Come on up, Sam. Come on. You might like a cat, too. You know that? Oh, boy. So all my boys are here, but my sweetheart and princess, our sweetheart and princess is not. Oh. And the coffee's tasting pretty good. Got some Sumatra, like I mentioned. Come on up, Sam. There's Poppy. There's Poppy. Come on in here. We'll get you your pill. You can tell me if you had any pleasant dreams. Did you sleep well and have pleasant dreams? I think that's about all we got today. So, from the cold gray ashes and coals of my cold black heart, my broken, beaten, battered, bruised, bloody, burdened, empty, hollow, cracked, shattered, hopeless, forsaken, and forlorn soul, piss off. Happy, wonderful Wednesday, and thanks for not tuning in. And it is Sushi Wednesday at Meyer. <laughs>